Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Yeah, Bowler Forever has been in the chat room well, almost from the very beginning. And that's not just his handle, that's his whole life. Just mentioned here, his best game ever is a 289. I'm lucky to break 100. No joke. And I, I took a, a bowling class in college. I mean, I, I needed to for the physical activity. And it was either that or racquetball. And I'm like, I, I think I'm going to go with bowling. And I did. Got a lot of popcorn from it, which was cool. He used to call me Thumper because the ball, as I threw it down the lane, you know, would pop, 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 pop. And I'd still get gutter balls after thumping. And I'd always hurt my thumb. I just never got the hang of it. I tried bowling right-handed, I tried bowling left-handed, I've tried them both ways. Anyway, if you're looking for bowling help and advice, talk to Bowler Forever. Uh, he posts videos regularly, and he's quite uh, active here at live.perlo.com, and I believe on geeks.perlo.com as well. So the reason I'm talking about bowling today is I decided to do a roundup of reviews of the bowling games available right now in the App Store for your iPhone or iPod Touch. And uh, I really wasn't paying much attention to bowling games until the other day when I learned that uh, the first bowling game posted to the App Store, 300 Bull, uh, had its price lowered to 99 cents. And I'm like, okay, 99 cents, it's worth a shot. I'll give, I'll give it a try. So um, I, I bought it, and I thought, wow, I just wasted 99 cents. Uh, skip it. Just, trust me. Skip it. So then a couple days later, iBowl was released for free. And uh, I downloaded and tried that. It's kind of a it, different dynamic than 300 Bull, which really wasn't, I don't even want to talk about it. It's so not worth your time. It wasn't worth mine. It certainly wasn't worth my money. But with iBowl for free, you basically uh, touch your thumb or finger or whatever, touch something in the middle of the iPhone, and then flick your uh, iPod or iPhone up or down or just move the accelerometer, and then it'll roll down the lane. Uh, and it was okay. I mean, for free. It wasn't bad. I don't know if it was a keeper. It wasn't bad. Again, for free. I find it very difficult to complain about things that didn't cost me anything other than maybe a small amount of time. It was fun. Uh, I, I, I probably would have felt better about spending 99 cents on that game than the other one. Not to say that I would have or should have. I'm just saying that it was probably worth more than the app that cost me money. So when I decided to do this uh, tonight, I was like, okay, well, how many bowling apps are in the App Store? And I searched, and it looks like right now there's three of them, and uh, 300 Bowl, iBowl, and Flick Bowling. And Flick Bowling is $5. I'm like, oh, great. So if I buy Flick Bowling, and it's really not that good, I've just wasted $5. Uh, I looked at the graphics and you know, scrolled through it. I didn't look up any video reviews of Flick Bowling. Uh, I probably could have, and I, I all always recommend uh, doing that before buying an app so that you can see you know what kind of interplay you'll get especially if it happens to be a game uh, if you're not watching a video of it screenshots only tell so much um, but I also know the company or know of the company Freeverse and uh, they create uh, various and sundry games I, I haven't played all Freeverse games I mean I, I'm not they, ha they make the games that I like though casual kinds of games customer reviews uh, right up front five stars at least on the first page it's three and a half stars for a total average rating at 47 reviews. But just this week, Apple finally got a clue and they only allow you to leave a review for an app if you've downloaded it and installed it, which would mean that if it cost money, you would have had to have purchased it, which is basically going to make all the ratings for paid apps suddenly skyrocket because a lot of people say, oh, one star, it's five dollars. This is a pointless review. So uh, the first three uh, that I saw looked uh, like really positive. Um, the graphics looked good. I knew of the company. Didn't even really uh, look at a video of it. I probably should have, but I was going to do this roundup anyway. Uh, I noted a couple of the um, a additional features that are coming in the next version of the app, and I'm like, okay, yeah, this is worth a shot. So I bought it for $5 and installed it, and I'm going to find it here in my nine pages of apps. Uh, takes a while to load, but it's absolutely worth it. Uh, I uh, I am so uh, impressed with the graphics, uh, and the, the gameplay seems uh, simple enough. Uh, the uh, I'm, I'm going to approach the camera in a second as soon as I 
uh, get this all set up. As I say, it, it kind of takes a while to kind of boot because it's loading all these graphics and everything. Um, options. Let's turn up the sound effects. Uh, keep the difficulty low. I can also turn up the music. Or turn it down. <clears throat> okay. Free play. Now I'm going to choose my character, and this is where I am going to approach the camera. I could zoom in, but that's not as much fun. So here we go. We're going to choose the nerd. Wicket, you can't play! He always wants to play my iPhone. All right, Mr. Heiner, continue. Touch to continue. Oh, it's down there. I choose a ball. Red. I move my player right or left. I'm going to go right about there. And now, flick to shoot. Here I go. Watch me suck. Hey! Nine pins down. Not bad. Let's see if I can get the spare. I'm going to go with the... Uh, uh, let's go with the black one. All right, where's the pin? Oh, I see. It gives me a preview up. It's number 10, so let me move her over and try to shoot straight down. Flick to shoot. Oh, 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 oh. Go this way, this way, this way, this way. Spare! Yeah! Dude, dude. $5. Graphics are totally worth it. This is a game that I will like to play on my iPhone. Good sound, good control, new features are coming, great price, $5? Come on. I mean, come on. That, that, that's not that bad. I mean, it costs uh, the price of a, a meal that you may eat at a fast food restaurant. Uh, I mean, even a value meal is not going to cost you uh, much less than $5, especially if you get the bladder buster, you know, where they bring you out the vat of soda. <laughs> Those are always fun to swim in. <clears throat> yeah, okay, so I like bowling for the snack food. I also like the sound. Oh, just, I love that sound. The sound of a bowling alley is just... I don't know, there's something about that. I mean, what is that? It's the pins. You know? Almost sounds like Timmy when I do that. I love it. <clears throat> anyway, there's my bowling games roundup, uh, at least for the bowling games that are currently available in the uh, iTunes app store. Uh, avoid two of them. Uh, you can get the free one. Go ahead, give it a shot. But my recommendation at this point, and I think this is going to be the one to beat, spend $5 and buy Flick Bowling. My email address is chris at perillo.com. Feel free, please, please, feel free to send me iTunes gift certificates so that I can continue to buy apps to review because if that doesn't happen uh, I'm going to go into the poorhouse <clears throat> because there's just so many things out there and hopefully um, you know I could you know, save you the time and the hassle okay yeah I'm begging for iTunes gift certificates but come on how many of you out there right now after seeing that little demo right there and hearing the sounds how many of you guys are going to buy that app you know how many apps I've sold just by demonstrating the geeks either through YouTube or these videos or geeks.perillo.com or when they get posted to my blog at chris.perillo.com. You know how many? How many of you guys are going to buy it? Come on. Bowler Forever, you're kidding. You, you, you just bought it? Okay, good. I can't believe Bowler Forever is considering it. Of all the people out there, he's probably going to be the most picky, though. In any old way, if you want to see me demonstrating iPhone apps live or just doing other random things with technology, sometimes with my iPhone, sometimes with my computers, sometimes. I'm not even here at all, but that's okay. So we have the chat room right here. The chat room is integrated with the video experience, so even if I'm not here, like if I'm over here and you can't see me, that's okay because the chat room's still going on. And they're all going, Chris, where did you get those wonderful screensavers? <clears throat> I have an answer to your question, but the only way for you to find out is to ask it. Not to me directly, but the community of geeks at geeks.perillo.com. Of course, you're also welcome to stop by the chat room. Open 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Typically talking tech, even if I'm not here. Everybody else seems to be. Where are you? We're at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.